Yesterday we started briefly by asking what is the Bible and what does it mean to you? And we asked for the actual definition. So if you looked it up yesterday, you found out that the Bible is what Christians use as their inspired word. But also there's a second definition to which people feel that the Old Testament is the only portion of the Bible as well. So what is it and how is it comprised? Well, we'll talk about that as we go through this week and beyond. But before we go into the beginning, let me share this definition with you. A young person once shared with me that the Bible means basic instructions before leaving earth. So there's instructions in here, there's principles in here, there's guidelines in here. But most of all, it's a love letter that's written through God and about God to you and to me. But did you know that there's something that is missing? We'll get into that in just a little bit. Genesis is where the Bible starts, and Genesis literally means beginning. And there's a story that's in Genesis, and we'll pop the verses up here for you, that are about creation. Creation is such an important place to start for you and for me. In fact, what I'd like you to do tonight is to start and read the actual story of creation. Just spend a few minutes and go through that, because that is the beginning. That is what Genesis means. And it's a beginning for you, and it's a beginning for me. But once again, there's something that's just a little bit missing. Read those words tonight, read those verses tonight, and I'll share what that is with you tomorrow.